With your local and area news, I'm Justin Mott, brought to you by Excel Ford Lincoln Mercury. Well, yesterday I had an interview with Mr. Wayne Christian, the Railroad Commissioner of Texas elect, and what he has to say may come as a surprise to some. Now, the Railroad Commission has nothing to do with railroads anymore. It was named the Railroad Commission 125 years ago when oil was discovered, and the only way you could get oil to the market was by a railroad at that time. So since that was the transportation of oil and gas, it was called the Railroad Commission because that was the way you transported it. Well, the railroads are now taken over by the Texas Department of Transportation, but oil and gas and coal and all the minerals, uranium, all of that is regulated by the Texas Railroad Commission, which is the world's, lar- world's largest supplier of oil, gas, and coal, now at least one of the largest on planet Earth. And we, we refine in Texas over one-fourth of the oil produced in the United States for gasoline, oil, other things. So oil in Texas is one-third of our jobs are either directly or indirectly oil, gas, or coal, and you also have 20% of the state budget is oil, gas, or coal generated, and 100% of that rainy day fund. For the full interview, please go to our website at cbc-radio.com. In much lighter news, yesterday marked the 22nd annual Irma Vasquez Tournament of Champions Bowling Classic held at Chris Wallington's classroom at Center High School. CHS student Lexi Parker was heralded in as the champion. I'm here with Lexi Parker, the Irma Vasquez Championship Bowling Tournament. What is it, Chris? 22nd annual. She's our 21st champion. We had a a two-time champion once. All right. And how does it feel to be champion? I'm honored a lot because I won Irma Vasquez turning Tournament of Champions. And Justin, this was her third try. She's a third-year student, and have you ever even come close before? I've got in, like, second round, maybe, but never, like, too far. Most exciting, and this looks so good on a job resume. Oh, I know. Oh, oh, the, the employers will eat this up. <laughs> And this concludes your coverage of the 22nd Annual Irma Vasquez Tournament of Champions. For full coverage of the event and pictures, please go to our website at cbc-radio.com. That's cbc-radio.com. The Shelby County Commissioner's Court is going to have a meeting on the 14th at 9.30 a.m. The Shelbyville School Board is going to have a meeting on the 14th at 6 p.m. in the school board room. Congratulations to Hannah Lawson from Center, Texas. She is a new junior member of the American Angus Association. Moving along this morning, Morning in your arrest report in Shelby County, Jimmy Harris, age 52, of Pollock, theft. Shannon Lee, age 30, of Shelbyville, unlawful carrying of a weapon. Joseph Nash, age 35, of Center, possession of a controlled substance, possession of a dangerous drug, and driving while intoxicated. As of this morning, there are no new arrests in St. Augustine County. And in your obituaries this morning, 93-year-old Mr. James Arthur Smith of St. Augustine passed away Friday the 4th in St. Augustine. His services will be held tomorrow at 1 p.m. at the New Jerusalem Baptist Church in St. Augustine with Bishop Roosevelt Swindle officiating. Burial will follow in the Boggy Cemetery in St. Augustine. Services for 80-year-old Mr. Willie Hudson of St. Augustine will be held this Saturday at 2 p.m. at the Cedar Grove Baptist Church in Milam with Reverend Orvin Garrett officiating. Visitation will be held today from 12.30 to 6.30 p.m. at the Gardner and Sons Chapel. This has been your local and area news.